Oh, hello. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Rob Tart. This is my cow, Fluffy, and you're watching Pie's Perspective. All right, Fluffy, we gotta go. People are waiting on us. Fluffy? Now, porn is big business in many places on the planet, and Japan is no exception. The porn audience in Japan have their favorite categories of porn like any place else. In Japan, it's estimated that 20% of the adult video market is now elder porn. We're talking about porn where the stars are seniors. Now, one of these stars, a 76-year-old man named Shigeo Tududa, is apparently among one of the most popular. The man told Toronto's Globe and Mail that he still performs without the need for Viagra. Now, the story I read said that his wife and daughter found out about his late-onset career only two years ago, which is pretty astonishing because he's been doing films for 16 years. A filmmaker apparently hired him because he had what he called a perverted face. Now I'm not sure that I would consider that much of a compliment to be honest. Now I'll get to the old people doing a horizontal mambo in just a sec. First of all, how can you hide a porn career for 14 years without your wife finding out? I mean I guess you could claim that you were at work every day and technically you wouldn't be lying. Unless by lying I mean lying on your back. And then when his wife asked, well how was work today, he could say hard. Very, very hard. I would also think that the longer that you are a porn star, the greater the chances that you'll be spotted walking down the street. So I can picture this guy walking down the street with his wife, and suddenly a 98-year-old woman walks up and says that she's a big fan and then asks him to sign her boobs. The thought of watching old people having sex is not something I even want to visualize. The last thing I want to see is two people whose body parts have gone south many years ago actually get intimate. I mean, the whole thing would be slow, awkward, and quite frankly, a little too wrinkly. I personally would rather watch the mating rituals of hippos, to be honest. Not to mention that after watching something like that, I would need A, a shower, and B, some serious therapy. Although I got to admit, I'm a little curious about what the film titles are for these flicks. Wrinkled Rhonda? does Rhode Island, geriatric gyrating grannies, on old and blonde, 103 and still into leather and candle wax, down and droopy, doing it with my dodgy hip, I've fallen and I don't want to get up, dirty square dancing. All right, who wants ice cream? We have the thumbs upsicle, the subscribesicle, the three flavor favesicle, and the comment on a stick. Please help yourself to anything you like. The people over at Amazon.com have decided to pull a book from their online store after complaints and threats of a boycott. Now when I read this story, I'm surprised that the book was ever allowed to be for sale in the first place. The title of the book is A Pedophile's Guide to Love and Pleasure, A Child Lover's Code of Conduct. The author of the book is a man named Philip R. Greaves II, and the book went on sale October 28th. I cannot believe that any author would want their name on a book like that. Now Amazon initially defended the publication, but later withdrew it from its online store. Alright, where do I start with this one? What kind of a person writes a book about pedophilia? What kind of people notice him writing a book about pedophilia and don't report him to police? What kind of a desperate state would a publisher have to be in to even consider publishing a book about pedophilia? How is it that nobody at Amazon raised any alarm bells when this thing went up for sale? It would seem to me that several or even hundreds of people had to know about this book while it was being made and before it went up for sale. And yet nobody did anything to stop it. It's not like pedophilia can be interpreted in several ways. There isn't a good pedophile versus a bad pedophile. It's really sad to me to see that the book actually even got to the point where it was up for sale. What would Amazon list as recommended reading for somebody who bought this book? And if a book like this could be posted for sale on a site like Amazon, what other books may have snuck their way in? The Art of Torture, Using a Power Drill and an Oven Mitt? The Joys of Owning a Slave? How to Make a Dog Extremely Vicious? The Art of Hiding Bodily Fluids in Other People's Foods? Recipes for Eating a Live Baboon? The Guide to Making Love to Fungus? How to Take a Dump in Public and Get Away with It? Today's question of the day is, think of some other funny names for elder porn videos, or think of some other inappropriate book titles. Anyway, that's all I have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, it's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just my perspective. All right, Fluffy, can we go now? I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah, mule. Yeah. Hello, Fluffy. Hello. Shigeo Tududa. Duda. The man told Toronto's golden... Now, the story that I read said that his father... Now, the film... Now, the film... A filmmaker... First... First of all, how could you hide a porn for the mating rituals of... I personally would rather watch the mating I personally would rather watch the mating rituals of highness.